by the famous American educational psychologist Benjamin Bloom. He gave six hierarchical levels in the cognitive domain ranging from simple to complex. These levels are remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. Bloom's taxonomy is a powerful tool for all the educators to formulate learning objectives and question stems. Each level is associated with a group of verbs. So I'm going to link a list of verbs associated with each level and also Cinderella's fairy tale in the description box below. Bloom's taxonomy. How to frame questions using Cinderella's fairy tale. The first level is remembering. How many stepsisters Cinderella had who helped Cinderella to reach the ball at the royal palace? Use this level to ensure that the student has learned specific information from the chapter or the story. Understanding how did Cinderella left her glass slipper in the palace? Why Cinderella's stepmother didn't want her to attend the ball at King's Palace? At this level, you want the students to understand the main ideas or concepts and explain, express or summarize in their own words. Applying Give example from the story that Cinderella was an obedient girl. List the sequence of important events in the story. At this third level, students must show that they can apply the information they have learned. Analyzing. What kind of person do you think was Cinderella's stepmother? How would you react if you were in Cinderella's place? The fourth level of Bloom's taxonomy is analyzing. Here students find patterns, that is they compare, categorize what they have learned. They also learn to infer and validate. Evaluating. What are your two major learnings from the story? What message would you like to give to the stepmother? Evaluating means students can make judgments or opinions based on the information they have learned as well as they can put their own insights. Creating Create a haiku on Cinderella and Prince Charming's happy ending. Rewrite the story with a different ending. For those who don't know what a haiku is, it's a Japanese short poem with 17 syllables, 5, 7, 5 in 3 lines. So creating is the highest level, creating something new out of the given information. Thank you so much for watching. 